Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. And I appreciate that so much. So let's go ahead and talk about, you know, the GR Corolla. Obviously, you see the big old, let me just duck a little bit. You see that? So this specific dealership wants to charge you not a market adjustment, not a market adjustment at all. We're going to call it a safety package. Now, do these dealerships think that we're that slow or we're stupid idiots? We don't do our research? Are you kidding me? First of all, first of all, when it comes to specialty cars like this, where the demand is very high for this, specifically for this kind of vehicle, whether this, whether it's the GR Corolla or the Type R or whatever any other limited edition, you know, or the Z, <laughs> Proto, um, doesn't matter. We do our research when it comes to these vehicles specifically because every single dealership is trying to come up as much as they can on that bottom line. They're trying to take you to the cleaners. So we are not stupid. We do our research, you know. We do our research, man. Most dealerships, they'll be honest with you. They'll be like, yeah, we're asking twenty, thirty thousand dollars market adjustment. We we all know what it is. Don't try to hide it under the this right here. Don't try to hide it under this safety package. Twenty thousand for safety package? What's included in that safety package? That is a million dollar question and I'm gonna show you what's included. So here is what's included. Okay, so this is the sticker. This is from Ed Morris Del Rey Toyota. So right here you can see the safety package. 20,000 <laughs> includes wheel locks and antiviral treatment. What the fuck is antiviral treatment? Are you going to spray some shit in the car to, to treat what? To treat what? At least they didn't add like nitrogen filled air or some shit like that, which is just absolutely nuts. <laughs> Anyways, from what we can see, this looks like an actual dealer pricing document on the vehicle itself. It shows the same 53,751 MSRP. But directly below that is our 20,000 safety package listed and add $999 dealer fee on top, we get to a grand total of 74750 which is weird because the document shows um, 73751 as total. Maybe they waived the $1,000 dealer fee. How generous. <laughs> One commenter in the post drove home the real problem, though. Crazy how dealers simply killed the buzz around these cars, they said. When cars are simply too expensive to obtain, it absolutely can sully their reputation. Data clearly links markups and a drop in customer satisfaction too. Interestingly, this same dealer network got into hot water not long ago over a similar fee. Now, when it comes to these shenanigans, you know, it's not only limited to certain brand, literally, Every single brand that you can think of, these dealerships are trying to rob you for your money. Let's be honest. They want to rob you for your money. So do I feel any type of way when somebody breaks into the dealership and steals their three Hellcats? Hell fucking no. I feel nothing. That's why you have insurance to take care of those things. But anyway, moving on. I think that the tide is turning. The prices are coming down when it comes to the used car market. We've seen it. It's happening. Slowly but surely, things will t change. And another thing, too, what I see is... Oh, hold on. I got some Chipotle. <laughs> another thing is these dealerships, they don't understand that loyalty goes... A really long ways. I've said this in other videos too. I'm usually a one and done. I buy one vehicle from a dealership. Experience never goes well. I hate the experience of buying new car vehicles. I hate it. 
just buying cars in general. I think it's a better experience when you're buying it privately than it is when you're trying to go um, through the dealerships buying brand new cars from them. It's just a hassle. It's just a terrible experience. I hate doing it. The fact that I think that I think that Carvana could have been way more successful than they are if they capitalize on that whole area where people hate buying cars from dealerships where you have to deal with a salesperson, negotiate, all that stuff. But their cars are just way too overpriced, just like CarMax, but things are changing for the better. And another thing, too, I've seen, you know, General Motor laying off people because of what? Their cars aren't selling. Their trucks aren't selling. They price these fucking trucks so high that people cannot afford them, especially with the interest rate going up so much. There's really no room or you can't really afford any of these vehicles that these companies are putting out. These trucks starting at like, you know, 70, 80, 90,000 with any, everything done, you're looking at almost 900 to a thousand dollar payment, if not higher than that. So for this particular vehicle, they want, what, 73,100 and what is this? 73, let me see one second here. Uh, 73,000, Seven five one, so include your state tax on top of that. If you include your your state tax on top of that with everything, it comes out to a lot of money. And that's not including the interest rate that you might get, whether you get like a seven or if you have great credit, you even get a five. You're still going to be paying a lot of money for this. So, anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not at full health yet. I had a cold. So that's why I haven't been uh, posting, um, but I'm feeling just a slight better, slightly better, and uh, I got to get back to uh, making these content for you guys. So I'll see you in the next one.